guys, I'm Zalia, and today I am so excited to share with you the best healthy apple pie recipe ever. Now, I used to think it wasn't possible to make an amazing and delicious healthy apple pie, but then I tested a bunch of recipes, and I figured it out. I figured out the formula, and you guys are going to love this recipe. So don't be scared of it, make it, and you're gonna see it tastes like a real pie with a real crust and a real delicious apple filling. So I'm so excited for you guys to try it. It's also a great dessert for your Rosh Hashanah meal because there's apples and it's sweet and it's just gonna make the best dessert ever. So add it to your menu now. And also, if you want more recipes to add to your menu, I have a whole Rosh Hashanah ebook that I put together. It's a whole menu of recipes, but you don't have to make all of them. You can choose one or two and you can download it now in the description box below for free. So just click on the link in the description, download it. You can pause this video right now if you want and get it because it's filled with a ton of awesome recipes and gorgeous photos. So I'm so excited to share it with you. And now let's get baking this pie. The first step is to make the crust. And I'm telling you when all these ingredients come together, it's gonna taste like a real deal apple pie crust. So I have here some oat flour. I'm just gonna add it to a bowl of a mixer. And I have here my stand mixer, my KitchenAid. And I made this once in a food processor. It is not the same. When I made it in the food processor, the entire dough was very tough. So I would totally recommend use your stand mixer if you have one because it will give you the best results. Then I have here some almond flour, tapioca starch, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to place this onto my stand mixer and we're going to mix this up for about 20 seconds or just until everything is combined. You may need to scrape down the sides of the bowl. So I've removed my whisk attachment and we're gonna start using a paddle attachment. So next we're going to add in some maple syrup and then we're going to give this a mix and slowly add in the coconut oil. You wanna make sure to be mixing this on medium low speed. Make sure that your coconut oil is firm and not liquidy. If your coconut oil is liquidy, stick it in the fridge for about 15 to 30 minutes until it firms up and it's slightly more solid. Next, add in tablespoonfuls of water until the dough comes together. Once your dough looks like a dough and holds together really, really nicely like this, it's time to transfer it into your pie dish. So I have here a glass pie dish that I greased with some cooking spray, and now I'm just going to add one third of the dough into the pie dish. So just take this dough, press it into the bottom all the way up along the sides of the pie dish. Now, the rest of the dough, just let it sit on your counter until you're ready to use it. I don't recommend putting it in the fridge because it won't be as easy to work with. So just let it sit out. There's no eggs in it. So even if it's sitting out for two hours, it's okay. If you see that you need a little bit more dough because you just can't spread it out anymore, just take a little handful from your bowl, but don't take too much because you need it for later and add it on to the side. You don't want any pie crust overhanging, so just take off anything that's sticking up and then just press it down so it's nice and flat. The crust is ready to get baked. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and now I'm going to bake it for 20 minutes. So while the crust is baking, it's time to cut up the apples. So I have here a ton of apples that I already cut up. There's four in here. So I'm using Granny Smith and Fuji today. I think they make an awesome combination. And mine turned a little bit brown. You could see it's okay. It's only because I cut them up like two hours ago. And then after you cut them up, put some lemon juice on. And I already did that step. So I wanted to show you how I like to cut my apples. So first off, you wanna peel your apples. Then I like to cut each side off. And then just trim off any excess apple that remains because there's no reason to waste any of this. Then just chop each of these apple pieces into about quarter inch slices. Once all the apples are cut up, like I said before, you would add the lemon juice. I'm just going to add a little bit now because there's already lemon on most of my apples, just not the apple that I just cut up. You wanna mix this together, make sure the lemon juice is coating all the apples, and it's time to add in the rest of our ingredients. So I have here some maple syrup, so instead of white sugar, we're going to use this today. Then cinnamon and arrowroot starch or arrowroot powder. And then you can mix this with a spoon, or a spatula, I just find it way easier to do this with my hands so that all the apples are fully coated and everything. So this is looking excellent. Meanwhile, I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to take my crust out of the oven, let it cool for 20 minutes, and then we can finish assembling this pie. My pie is basically all cooled, and now it's time to add the apples into it. And don't worry if the apples are overflowing a little bit, that's how it's supposed to be. 
to roll out the pie dough, I highly recommend you do this with parchment paper. So you want one piece of parchment paper to put underneath the dough to roll it out on, and then one to put on top so that you could use the rolling pin on top of the parchment paper. Take about two thirds of the dough that's left over and we're gonna roll this out. Roll out a circle that's a little bit bigger than your pie dish because it is going to be domed at the top, so you wanna make sure that there's enough dough covering the entire pie. The dough looks awesome. You can see how nice and flat and smooth it is. Just set aside your top piece of parchment paper. And now it's time for the slightly scary part where we put it onto the pie. I will warn you, your dough is probably, most probably gonna crack and you're gonna have to patch it up by putting some cutout of apples or hearts or stars, flowers, whatever you want. You're gonna have to put some cutouts of more dough onto it. So. It's just, that's the way that this dough works, but it does taste delicious. So even though it cracks a little bit, I end up making it look pretty and I love how it tastes. So one, two, three, and flip it over. Ooh, not so many cracks this time. You wanna pull off all the pieces on the edge, collect all the excess dough, and put it back into your bowl, because we use it later. So press your dough in towards the edges, and now take a knife, and we're not making any pretty border on this because it just doesn't end up looking nice. I tried it, it just doesn't work with the dough. The dough ends up getting too dark on the outside. Push the raw dough onto the cooked piece of dough and just connect it like so. So let's cut out some shapes. Make sure that you don't roll this dough too thin for the shapes because it'll be really hard to lift them up. This is perfect, it's about a quarter of an inch in thickness, maybe a little bit thinner. And now to take any cookie cutter that you like, I'm using an apple because it's apple pie, so I thought it'd be cute. And we're just gonna cut out maybe eight to 10 of them. And you may have some dough left over after making your entire pie. So you could just save it and make another mini pie. I've never tried freezing it, so I don't know if that would work, but if you try, let me know in the comments down below. To glue your shapes on, just take a little bit of water, dab it onto your pie crust, and then add the shape down and press it down lightly. And you wanna put your shapes mostly onto the areas that cracked, but make sure it looks all neat so you don't have to put it only on the areas that are cracked. So the pie is almost finished and it's looking really gorgeous. There's just one last step and that's to add some egg wash. Now if you're vegan, you don't need to add the egg. You could just use some almond milk mixed with a little bit of water. But because I'm not vegan and I really do like how the color looks with the egg wash, it just gives it like a really nice golden brown color. So I'm going to use the egg. So it's just one egg to about a teaspoon or so of water. It's not exact, so if you put a little bit less, if you put a little bit too much, don't worry about it, it's fine. So once the egg wash is ready, just take a pastry brush and brush it all over. And lastly, sprinkle your pie with some granulated sugar. Now it's time to get this gorgeous pie into the oven. I'm going to bake it at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, and then I'm going to lower the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for another 40 minutes. My pie has been cooling for about an hour. I wish I could dig into it because it looks so tasty and amazing, but I still have to take pictures of it, so I'm not gonna eat it yet. I also wanted to mention that if you see that your pie is getting a little bit too dark and you should check on it at around like the 25 minute mark, just add a piece of foil on top of the pie. You could tent it, it doesn't have to be secure, and that will just prevent your pie from getting too dark. I forgot to do it, so some of my apples got a little bit dark in the quarters, but it's okay, it's still gonna taste delicious. You can get the full recipe on my website, spreadingflower.com, and also, if you like this video, you should totally subscribe to my channel. You can click on the subscribe button down below under this video, and also, don't forget to download my Rosh Hashanah recipe book if you want more awesome, amazing recipes, which who wouldn't, and I put a ton of work into it. I took all the photos, wrote the recipes, and I just hope you like it and let me know if you try anything from it. So thank you again so much for watching and I hope you guys have a healthy, happy, and sweet new year. Bye.